getting into installing a uh, pressure regulator here and we're in kind of a tight spot as you can see the isolation valves right here and that's right here you know so unfortunately the only thing uh, I'd like to just cut it and you know we can't rework this whole thing we don't have the time for that so got a uh, screw but elbow coming out of the wall here and uh, yeah I'm gonna thread the regulator on here put a union on the other side elbow it back around to here Oh, yeah, that actually works. Probably should have put it over that hole, but there's probably stuff down there. So, I don't know if you caught that, but I'm actually um, soldered this joint, the copper tube, to the union half here uh, from the top side, and then I uh, made sure I got solder up um, between the tube and the male adapter. By, uh, running flowing solder on the inside because there's not really it probably sucked up in there anyways from here but that's just a little little technique is that you can solder from the inside of the pipe if you need to so just want to show you that little trick I guess not sure how well it's gonna come out Let's see what I mean I probably shouldn't have done that oh well <laughs> I dripped some flux in the cabinet here um, yeah, definitely. Hit the charger there. So be as good as she gets for this one. Yeah, not bad. I can deal with that. Have a little wonk to her. Okay, we got her all soldered up here. I uh, put a wet rag just in front of the regulator for you know, the joint on the other side of the union there and whatnot. Just make sure. I think it's probably able to handle a good amount of heat, but I always like to err on the side of caution. So I'm going to take the, this is just hand tight, the nut here. I'm going to take that apart and slick some pipe tape in there and uh, nip it up with the wrench and uh, should be good. And we'll uh, set the pressure. Okay. Have it all installed and uh, cut the pressure trim back to a little below 40 so we won't have any more problems with the uh, fixtures for um, losing the toilet rebuild kits on a really short cycle here so uh, water pressure coming in was pretty stout it was uh, almost 70 uh, and that's that's just what it is right now it fluctuates around here I, I think I've seen it up to like 100 before so this will uh, this will handle it A couple of, uh, well, angle stops, um, near ball valves, but, uh, they installed these about, uh, five years ago, actually, um, but they are, uh, they're frozen up stiff, no one want to turn it on, and, uh, and this one, this one's in a little bit better shape, but it's, it's slow, and, uh, I'm pretty sure when you look at it, at least one of these stems is going to be snapped off in there, so, 
Um, these were the kind of the cheapest valves you could get. They're the Home Depot specials, you know, so they don't really owe us anything, I guess. But went ahead and upgraded to the Watts valve this time at least. So. And uh, why am I using ball valves instead of angle stops? Because I, um, I want to.